We talked about how important this opportunity is for all the athletes here tonight to make their mark. And these four young men, Joey Attell included, are looking to possibly pay the ultimate price. A very high risk situation, a high risk match for these young guys. It don't get any higher than tables, ladders, and chairs. Let's listen to the introductions and we'll talk more about it on the other side. and greatness awaiting for uh, uh, Pinky Sanchez. And in just a second, Brian XL will be coming out and we got us a four-way elimination tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh my, I love it. <laughs> and the fourth and final competitor, Hells of Brooklyn, New York. And weighing it at 180 pounds. One thing about New York and New Jersey fans, you can't expect them to be there if you just turn around and start clapping your hands or stomping your foot. These fans in this area are hard-nosed, hardcore fans. If they don't like you, they'll sure as hell let you know. And that's why DMT is a perfect match for the Garden State. Finally, we have hit the East Coast. And Brian Excel, you might consider him sort of an OG of this type of action. He's been around for a good number of years, a young veteran. Will that play to his advantage in this very unpredictable, unorthodox environment? I gotta tell you, you know, Jerry, in, in this type, type of a match, a four-way elimination, tables, ladders, chairs, experience counts, but it ain't gonna get you the match without one hell of a lot of effort. Sometimes young and full of piss and vinegar counts for a little bit more than experience. Uh, all four men, a <laughs> bit tentative here, but once we get going, you can expect this to be a full throttle affair. And here we go, a tell and pinky strike first. As the four were facing off, they're all looking at each other wondering, can I align myself with somebody here? Can I trust anybody here? And the question that answer looked to be, hell no. 
XL scores with the drop kick off the middle ropes, gets the Rana. And we have yet to see any tables, ladders, or chairs yet, but you've got to believe they're all looking around. They're all thinking, where can I get one and how can I get it involved in this thing? How can I use it to my advantage? Uh, see what I said earlier about Pink. He comes into the ring. There's two guys, a young guy, Atel, an older guy with a hell of a lot of experience. Who do you go after? The Brian XL, the man with the experience. This kid is way more than the package shows. I love it. A little uncomfortable talking so much about Pinky's package, but nah. Pinky climbing that virtual ladder does him no good, and that was a bad landing for him. And here comes the greatness to execute. Down nice low drop. goes Pinky. Take the wheels away, the car don't run. It doesn't climb either. Once yeah. those ladders get involved. Now with the heat in this building, you can see the experienced veteran uh, uh, that is standing outside the ring. Brian XL is taking his time, relaxing so he can get the wind that he needs in this heat to execute his type of match. Greatness standing tall. He's looking for a target. On the move, and he is caught. That wasn't a drop toe hold. That was a drop body hold. I've never seen that before. Executed like a drop toe hold, but around the waist. XL scores to the side of the head, but he better watch out behind him. Mattel back in the ring. Mattel blocks himself and he gets caught with the kick watch out for excel oh i'm gonna tell you that could have earned you a one-way trip to the spinal breaking factory i'm gonna tell you brian listen to the fans appreciating that they're leaving it all in the ring or outside the ring as the case may be, but they are holding nothing back, nor should they. This is DMT, and this is where they've got to shine. Again, Pinky steps toe-to-toe -to -toe with Veteran in the match and starts slapping it out with him. This kid's got guts. XL with a bit of a height advantage. He may be the tallest man in this match, looking to launch shades of the great Eddie Guerrero he connects wonderfully you're not going to get any guy in DMT by not covering the shoulders you might get a two count that's just called a break to those guys you got to cover the shoulders you got a pin a man here in DMT and now toe to toe Pinky once again showing his toughness, he didn't back down at all. And outside the ring, Attell's taking the fight right to greatness, right in the fans' laps. Oh, where's Pinky going? Off the apron, oh. scores with the knee. And right hands for Pinky. I think those fun and games are absolutely over. He's got his game face on and chair in hand. Chairs, chairs, chairs. The C part of TLC. I love it. He wins. Go back for more. Another chair. Uh, another chair. He's got enough for everybody in the ring. <laughs> I'm getting excited. My heart's starting to pound. I think Pinky's heart is pounding as well. He is ready to unleash some steel, perhaps on Brian XL. Right to the ribs. That never feels good. <laughs> What's he doing? He's setting up. Like you said before, Jerry, there's a hell of a lot of steel in that ring right now. He's going to try to power bomb uh, uh, Brian XL through that. He's, he's... My saying, my philosophy throughout wrestling had always been, if you're going to pick a chair up, take someone's damned head off with it. 
What does Pinky have in mind? He has set the chairs up. Excel's had a good amount of time to recover. And he's, he's fighting free. Oh, no. This could be trouble for Pinky. No, he's blocked it. A great block. That's survival instinct. Oh. Pinky made about the best attempt you could to block it from that position. Brian XL just took and planted him right on it. And now gets planted by a drop kick off the top rope from greatness. Pinky is still prone on those chairs. And look what Attell's got. A nice big old steel pipe. Yeah, this is tables, ladders, and chairs, but there's nothing to stop these guys from using whatever else they want. Attell desperate to eliminate somebody. He's trying to pin anybody and everybody. Hell, who's going to try to cover the referee? Wait a second. We got the chairs. <laughs> the L, the L. I got the L field. Tables, ladders, and chairs. The L and the C are in there. All we're missing is a table or two. That is one hell of a big ladder. <laughs> Look at me, what, 16, 18 feet high? Is he thinking weapon? Is he thinking something to climb? <laughs> it's almost as long as the ring is wide. <laughs> and it's fiberglass. Fiberglass don't give like steel does. Oh! Do you see Pinky bounce off that? That is just a dangerous situation for all these men. Oh. They stepped into this willingly, though. because Attell just got dumped on his neck and now splashed through a broken a fiberglass ladder. That holds the maximum weight of 375, 375 pounds. First disqualification, first elimination. Look at that ladder. We've got one competitor down, one ladder down. What in the hell will we see next? Somebody better alert the medical staff in the back, because I'm telling you, Attell's going to have a problem with that neck, the way he got dumped on that ladder just a minute ago by Brian XL. Greatness now on the attack. And then there were three. And how do you up the ante from here? Pinky Sanchez with another lease on life and Excel joining it. One thing in a four-way match, ain't nobody in front of you, your friend, your pal, your buddy. They're all your opponent. And the problem is they're not just in front of you, they're behind you, they're to the side, they're everywhere. And greatness! Takes both men down. And a tell him the hell of a Wait a second, goals. wait a second. He is certain indestructible Joey Tell has been eliminated. Another ladder, another ladder coming down. Greatness is now bringing what, what about a six foot ladder. Personally, I love the 18 footer. <laughs> Sanchez takes a flight to the outside once again. And meanwhile, We've got a launching pad set up in the ring. Where is greatness going? You ain't kidding. What goes up's got to come down. Spin wheel kick connecting on both opponents. All right, that could be a knockout blow to one or both of those guys. From our vantage point, we can see that, that Brian XL is down on the mat. Look at his ribs, look at his belly. You can see him sucking wind. That's a sure sign that whatever's been done to him has been taking its effect. Brian XL has either got to start to dig into his bag of tricks as a veteran, or figure he can't keep up in the TLC match with Pinky Sanchez and greatness. Greatness now making another makeshift table using that ladder. 
I'm not sure what's left of Sanchez trying to fight his way into the ring. He's in a dangerous spot. Look at Pinky's back. He's got welts over from the ladder earlier. Oh! Pinky trying to reverse and trying to minimize the impact of that suplex by twisting and landing on the front of his knees. Greatness was still able to get some of it onto Pinky Sanchez. Sanchez using those kicks. Oh! And boy, did he connect! You heard the fans chanting, you fucked up. What they don't understand is here in Deathmatch Tournament, things ain't always gonna look pretty cause it ain't predetermined. It ain't contrived like that slam on the ladder just now. This ain't your grandpappy's wrestling. Ah! <laughs> Sanchez with another win. And this ain't the fake WWE. This is Deathmatch Tournament where sometimes things may not be pretty. And then there were two. Watch out for Excel. Not That's sure he got the last one. Been eliminated in our town to two. What a brilliant veteran move by Ryan Excel. No reason he couldn't lay outside the ring while the rest of the guys in there. Pinky Sanchez and Greatness are beating the hell out of each other. Ain't nobody counting him out, and he's not out of the match until he takes himself out of the match. Now, as soon as the second pinfall came and Greatness was out, Brian XL now jumps in, allows no time limit and no break for these guys for Pinky Sanchez. Takes the fight right to him. That's a veteran move every single time. XL looking to reestablish himself and certainly shoot himself up those rankings here in Deathmatch Tournament. We're under eight minutes. Started at 15 so far, two eliminated. Brian XL could finish this off, there's plenty of time. Oh! Power move, almost a modified version of the Nutcracker Suite. Almost had him, almost had him. 7.15. Did you see Brian XL look over to the referee and say, did I get him how much time left? He's communicating. He wants to know as a veteran, how much time have I got? Seven minutes is plenty. It's called ring generalship. And it may be that XL feels it's only a matter of time. Pinky's absorbed so much punishment, but franchise, he keeps fighting. Wow. Spin I mean, kick landed right square on the forehead. I'm not sure how much more this kid could take. What is Excel doing here? Slow over head but that was impressive off of Pinky's chest and belly. Now remember, it's Brian Excel who looks to be about 2, 210, 220, standing on his chest at this point in the match and in this heat, Pinky Sanchez ain't getting no oxygen in. How does Excel follow up? He's taking his time a bit, measuring Pinky, trying to avoid making any crucial mistakes. If you think this is fake wrestling like all the other garbage out there, if you're at home, take a close look at Pinky Sanchez's back. Thanks to that big 18-foot orange ladder. He's welted up. Excel misses the mark. Pinky with an opening here. Oh! Drops him on his head. This could be it. it He's is. got him. He's got him. And it is a coming home. What an upset for Pinky Sanchez. Sanchez. Again, look at Sanchez's back. I got to give him credit. Did you see the way he executed that move? He grabbed Brian XL. And with every ounce of energy and every ounce of his weight, he drove Brian XL, the experienced veteran's head right into the mat. The heart of Pinky Sanchez would not be denied here tonight, but franchise, we just saw four of the most fearless athletes in the world today redefine what a tables, ladders, and chairs match means in professional wrestling, and they did it right here in DMT. I'm telling you, the more I find out about Pinky Sanchez, the more impressed I am. Hey, personally, 
I wouldn't call myself Pinky, but hey, he can call himself King Kong for all I care. He proved himself last month in DMT number one. He's proven himself again tonight in DMT number two against three highly qualified, qualified wrestlers and veterans of this business. Kudos to Pinky Sanchez.